Um, I want to answer another question, which is a really good one, which is why okay. is there a tablet? Okay. Um, I'm going to answer that question sort of aside in a different way, which is so this is the the decent scale. Okay, and it's it's mm -hmm. ultra minimal. It just has uh, two buttons. One is tear, one is timer, and it has no mm -hmm. features other than tear and timer. It has Bluetooth, right? It has Bluetooth, and exactly right. Yep. And my goal mm -hmm. was that we, uh, when I used a, a scale like the Brewista, for example, and it has ten modes. I found that it just didn't work right. Um, it was confusing. The buttons were multi-use. I had an Akaya scale. I kept having to take the manual out as I got into modes by accident. The, we have a solution to complexity, and it's called a screen, and it's software. And, and that's, you know, almost every device that is complicated has migrated to a screen and an application. Uh, and there's multiple reasons for that. One is... Screens with menu buttons and, and charts and graphics have developed as a way to handle complexity. But there's another, which is software allows us to iterate. And so when I released this machine, I knew that the software would, in a few years, be considered terrible. And so mm -hmm. it had to be something that would be constantly updated. Mm -hmm. um, and, and if you build a Brewista scale, for example, and, and you put all the software in it, it doesn't iterate very quickly. And Brewist mm -hmm. never got their scales to a point where I, I thought the software on it was, was good. Um, mm -hmm. The hardware is great. The scale of Brewist is great. The Akaya scale hardware is great. I don't care for the Akaya scale firmware. Mm -hmm. So that's the decent scale. The espresso machine is only that much more. Um, what should an espresso machine do? How should you know what it's doing? Those are deep questions that, as far as I know, no espresso machine company has openly talked about with their clients. Uh, and so that's why there's a tablet on here, so that I could take a first stab at, here's what it does, here are how it talks to you, here's how you control it, here's what you might want to do. And then as we learned, as a, a, the discussion with the, the musicians out there playing with the machine came back, um, I could... Vary it. Um, so I'll give you an example. Um, you know, I'm this week. I've been working on Steam profiling, so the ability to change Steam in real time. And I love not that. Just, yeah, not just change it in real time, but save it. So obviously, traditional machines, uh, some traditional machines, especially like like La Marzocco Leva, has the most gorgeous Steam lever I've ever had. If you can get your hands mm -hmm. on it, it's just it's buttery and it, it's very linear. It's it's fantastic, but it has no memory. So if you, if you learn how to use it, you could get exactly what you want. But it would be really nice if that machine, you could control the steam, and you got a perfect profile for, let's say, a piccolo latte. And then you just said, play again. Mm. Um, now, that's not something that occurred to me five years ago or even one year ago. It's something that occurred to me recently because we came out with a higher-powered machine, and I was spraying, spraying milk all over myself. Um, mm -hmm. And so I thought, okay different drinks and different approaches to steaming. Some people want to make yeah. microphone through the duration. Some people make it for five seconds. Some people's different jugs have different approaches that they, they need. Yeah. So um, I'm able to actually change the experience of making a drink. It isn't just mm. features and gimmicks. It's actually how my making foam for a latte every day has now changed six mm. years later. And even the people who bought the machine six years later have this feature. Yeah. So I believe that, that the real-time changing is very useful. For example, like you mentioned, if you want to make a, a piccolo latte that will last volume of milk, you want to make an extra large, let's say 10 ounce of uh, cafe latte, okay, that probably I need a stronger steam power. So that, that makes a lot of sense that I can just change that, swipe that over in real time. And I love it. I love it. Yesterday, I just saw your Instagram. You just posted that immediately. I searched for it. Where can I get that? And I found it from a beta version and updated, then I got the function right now. I love it, yeah. So, uh, okay. Now the